it's time to sell another stock. I hope um, that you guys will be interested in this one because it's hard to make that decision on letting one of your old friends go. So today I'm going to get rid of this OARC and we'll briefly talk about it. My goal is to add a little more to this Maxi. So this is one of those things where I'll probably get burned. Uh, but Maxi is a Bitcoin ETF. And right now it's my biggest uh, profit. You know, Bitcoin, they say that there's going to be a halving and that the, you know, that the Bitcoin is going to do well this year. So, of course, this is a big gamble. But not only does Maxi track Bitcoin, it also pays its own dividend, which is 21.23. So I'm going to get use this opportunity to get rid of a stock that is basically aggravating because it just uh, it goes down more than it goes up, and it's uh, down just a little bit today. But this. I'm totally, I'm only down by $8.45. So this is as close to break even as I've been. So I think today is the day that I pull the trigger on this. And we'll go ahead and we'll look at this uh, OARC. And it's basically a yield max fund. And it's, I was in it for the monthly dividend. And the monthly dividend is, you know, 39 cents, which is 41%. Uh, but that's really no good if the the NAV the, or the stock price continues to go down. So you can see that the 52 week range, this was up to 1765. It's been down to 1161. It's currently at 1291. So it's just going down more than it's going up. So this basically tracks the ARC, um, you know, Kathy Woods fund and I'm not sure how I feel about Kathy, uh, but let's take a look at the ARC fund because every time ARC goes down, this goes down. So the reason that this stock is continuing to decline is because ARC is continuing to decline. So let's take a look at the ARC fund that my OARC is tracking. And you can see that Morningstar does not like it at all. Uh, it doesn't like it now. It doesn't like it in three years. It doesn't like it in five years. And we'll talk about, um, you know, some of the holdings uh, in a second. But let's take a look at the OARC snapshot. And, oh, I'm sorry, the ARC Innovation ETF snapshot. And over the 52-week range, we've been up to 54. And we've been down to 33. So this is a pretty good size gap. But it winds up taking small steps backwards more than it takes small steps forwards, which means that my yield max OARC is usually trending in the down position. Now, this fund has been around a long time in the stock market game um, since 2014. And let's take a look at some of their holdings. They hold Coinbase, which... I'm not sure why, but Coinbase is one of the most volatile stocks out there. It jumps down hard. So even if all of the other um, holdings in the ARC fund are doing well, Coinbase can drag it down in a single day. And then if Coinbase doesn't drag it down, Elon Musk will come out and say something controversial and Tesla will go down. Also, uh, Tesla goes down very hard, uh, big uh, steps. It takes big steps down. Roku just came out with their earnings, and it was terrible. And Roku went down very hard. Zoom is not doing too well. I'm not sure about this path. Um, the saving grace here, and the reason that I have an opportunity to get out of this stock today is because Block, uh, or Square, and they had good earnings. They're in the AI space. They had very good earnings, and their stock is surging today, which is pulling the ARC fund up to a point where I can get out. So you can see these other holdings, and I'm you know, not really educated on these. I believe Shopify is doing pretty well. But what you wind up having is that the, the, the top three – uh, investments in the ARC fund 
the ones that are the heaviest weighted, 8.93% is quite a chunk. And Tesla is, is 8%. And Roku is also close to 8%. These are large chunks. And all three are performing very poorly. So after suffering and watching OARC go down day after day, uh, let's, let me show you one other thing before I let you go. The monthly dividend was 38 cents last month. So let's take a look at the dividend history. It was 31 cents the month before, so it did bump up a little. But you can see when the fund first, when OARC first hit the ground running in 2023, it was paying 74 cents. Then it paid $1.09. Then it paid 76. And then it started falling, 51, 36. You can see uh, it, it was down to 24. So you can see that it's it started off really well and attracted a lot of people like myself. And ever since these big payouts, we have been in, in a general decline. So that's the way that the stock market works. But you know what? I also have the freedom to say, I'm getting out. And today we're only down two cents thanks to the um, Square stock doing well. And I'm going to take advantage of this situation. So I hope that you found this video interesting. And as always, I would like you to subscribe and learn more about the other individual stocks in my portfolio. Thank you and have a good day.